Welcome back to the video. Today we're going to talk about components. And more specifically, we're going to learn how to create components and how to use them in Figma. But first, let's answer a simple question. What the heck is a component? So to keep things simple, imagine that a component is an element or a bunch of elements grouped together that retain their properties across multiple screens and multiple frames. Or in more simple words, just imagine that you have to create an element once, so you design that element once, and then afterwards you just copy and paste it across your frame frames in Figma and it will retain the exact same properties. But you might be thinking it's like, but why is that so special? Because I can create a design and just copy and paste it anyway on multiple frames. Well, yes, but the main difference between simply creating an element and just copy and pasting it across multiple frames or designs and having components is that these components are actually linked to a master component. Think about him as kind of like the boss. And when you change the properties of this master component, everything that is linked to it will change as well. So that's why this is so powerful. So now let me demonstrate in Figma and show you how it works. So for this example, we're going to use the pop-up that we created previously in our auto layout video. In case you missed that one, make sure to check the description. It will be linked down below. Now, if we take our previous pop-up, let's say that we would like to change some properties to this and just change the design. And we would like to have all the borders of our input fields purple and then afterwards change this to green. Let's take that as an example. Now, if I want to do that, because I don't have a master component and I, this layout is not created using components, what I need to do is to go to every single element and then afterwards change the color and then go to the next one and so on. So this will take quite a while, especially if you're using the same pattern over and over again on multiple frames and multiple designs. Now to make our life easier, what we can do is to create a component for each element that we're using. So for example, here we're using the input field so we can create the component out of this one and then the button, which we can create a component out of this one as well. So to create a component, the only thing we need to do is to hit command option K or just simply click on the element and then afterwards select create component. Now what this does, it, it will create a component. You will see that here on the left side, the component will be shown as being purple and also it will have this icon over here. Now this icon represents the master component. So every single time we will change properties on this element, all the other components that are linked to this master component will inherit those changes. So what we can do now, because we have the master component, we can actually copy and paste this using command C, command V, and we can create copies of that master component. So as you can see, if I change the text, I will delete this one because this was this is not a component. I will see here that this is my master component and this is the copy of that master component. And I will replace all my input fields with copy of that master component. What I usually like to do is just to keep everything organized. I like to keep this master component separate from my design. So usually I will either drag and drop it onto a frame or I will put it above my component. It doesn't really matter as long as you understand and you know where to find the master components, it's fine. But the thing is, is like what I like to do is just copy this master component, just remove it from here and just put it in a separate place. So I know that when I change the design of that master component, all the components will change. So now, for example, if we try to do exactly the same thing, because we're not changing the properties on this master component, if we do the same thing that we did previously, we will see that it doesn't work. It's, it, it behaves exactly the same as it behaved before. But now if I say, for example, that, okay, I would like to change all the input fields, I will go to the master component. And when I change the properties for this one, you will see that all the components that are linked will change as well. So this is the power of this master component. So what I like about this technique is that it allows you to either change an element by itself. So you can actually change this to green, for example, and this will be green and the rest will be purple, or you can change the properties for all of them. And you will see that by using components, you'll speed up your design process quite a lot. Okay. So for example, we created this master component for our input fields. Well, we can do exactly the same thing for our button. So then we can go here, command shift K, and then this will be our master component. We can copy this and paste it move our master component here on top. And then afterwards we will say like, oh, here is email. Let me change this to submit. So if I do that, you will see that all the buttons will change the text. But what happens if I want to change one property on the master component and one property on the actual component? Well, we can actually do that. So for example, if I would like to change the button color of all my buttons, I can do that and I can be like, okay, I would like this to be green, fine. 
But then what if I have this pop up and on one of it, I want to say submit and on the other one, I would like to say subscribe. Well, because I'm modifying each component individually and I'm not editing the master component, I can actually separate those two and I can have different properties and values for those two. So for example, this one has submit. If I will copy and paste this one, let's say copy and paste this button. If I want this to be subscribe, I can have it as being subscribe. And that's because I did not change the master component. So that's why it's really important to keep your master component separate from your actual components. So you will know exactly when you change certain properties, how you will change those and who will inherit those properties. And I know you might be thinking, okay, but this example is quite, you know, like lame. You know, if I create elements, simple elements like this, I will need components. And that's fair enough. But the thing is, is like, imagine if you have a huge project and let's take, for example, the platform that I designed recently. So imagine that this is your project, which is actually huge. You have all these pages and elements and all of these things on the page. And let's say your client comes in and be like, ah, oh, you know, Dennis is like, I loved purple yesterday, but today I felt in love with green. Could you please change all the buttons to green or all the elements to green? Then in that case, if you wouldn't have used components, you would need to go through every single design and change those properties for every single element individually. But because we used this, these components, if I want, for example, to ch change, let's say this subscribe to a newsletter banner from purple to green, then I can simply go here. I can simply select another color, just adjust it as I wish. And then afterwards, everywhere where I use that component, those properties will be inherited. So I don't need to go on every single page and change the color for that specific element. I can just change the master component and that will change everything across the designs. And this is why you should start using components in your designs as soon as possible, especially if you're just starting out, it will be a very good thing to start using components and learn how to use them because Obviously, as you evolve, your projects will get more and more complex and this will save you a ton of time. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'm going to see you pretty soon in the next video. Take care. Bye.